What's good, okay, everyone? Let me pull out the hair. It's your man, Pet. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, so I'm doing this video you know based on, you know what I'm saying? You know, like I, I said, I apologize. I don't have a man as far as like any trade. I'll show you how to do it this step by step. Could be, so, you know, really good. Yeah, here I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you right. step by step. So, I mean, um, you know, I, you know, I apologize that I don't have a right. mannequin. You know what I'm saying? That way I could show you or or like an actual okay, person sitting here and I'm doing their dreads right now. You know what I'm saying? So what I do so, is I'm going to just gonna be a fat dread. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This is one of my wife's mm -hmm. old, uh, a little, you know, little hair when she was trying to get braids and stuff like that. You know what they okay, say. Yeah. You know? This is one of the ones that she hasn't used. Cool little so size, I just right? use this. To show you guys an example. Okay, so this what you gonna is, need uh, is, of course, is you know, say straight hair. Let's say you so do somebody for dread, everyone like, your own, right? that wanted to know how to do this is their hair, straight, straight hair, hair right? Let's or say you, do you know, ask me how I do it because my hair is straight. Like I told you, I went with them. This is how I do. This is my style. Back right? home crochet method. So this is the hair. And I'll show you how to do. Of course, you gonna need that and everything. Well, first of all, let me start off. You are gonna need a dread comb, like any small teeth kind of comb. You see that small teeth. Cause you want to back comb and what back combs mean is you comb it up which i'm about to show you and it gets the hair tangled like tangle and all that stuff and then you palm roll it and you continue doing it until it looks really all fizzy and all that and then you crochet it to tighten it in and ball it up so you're gonna need these this you could use that too because it's a small teeth and of course you're gonna need this kind of comb with the long, you know what I'm saying? This part is to like parting the hair. So when you're doing someone's hair, you're doing your own dreads, you wanna part, to me, honestly, I think the hard part is to parting it out. Cause you wanna part it out nice and neatly and you know, just stuff like that. And a certain way you wanna twist it because you don't want it to fall over your face. You want it to go back. So you gotta kinda twist it back, you know. And a crochet hook, that's what you need. You know what I'm saying? See that? You could get this crochet hook at any, like Michaels or Joann's, you know what I'm saying? You might even get it at like Beauty Supply, like Sally or something. I actually got mine's at, uh, I believe, Michaels. This is a uh, fake hair right here. So, of course, when you, you know, your hair, you know, real hair always look better. Like, you know what I'm saying, when you're doing with dreads, you know what I'm saying? It always look better. This right here is just fake hair. So, this is just an example I want to show you guys. You want to start from up, from the roots area, right? kind of hard for me to do it like this on let me show y'all from the bottom so I'm just gonna use my feet right here just to kind of step on it you know what I'm saying that way I could get a hold of it you know what I'm saying but in real life of course you ain't gonna step on someone's head the head laying down right here and you're stepping on it okay but I'm just doing this because I don't have you know what I'm saying it's not set on someone's head so like I said this is the end this is the top okay this is the end you always want to start from up here first though you want to knot the top first, all right? And then, right. palm rolling it. I'm trying to get it palm rolled, balled up, round. So here comes my crochet hook. And what I'm doing is I'm poking through the hair, right? I'm just basically pulling from one end to another. You see that? See how when it goes in this side, it's pulling the hair, you see that? And you don't want to pull all the way out, you're just pulling it in, push it back, pull it in, push it back, pull it in, push it back, pull it in, push it back, like that, like that. You want it to, to tighten it up. See, and what I'm doing is, I'm tightening it up. The reason why I'm doing it like this is easier for me. See that? Let me go. See this part right here? It's already, see I haven't get to the bottom yet, and look at, but look at this part. See, look at when I palm roll. I'm palm rolling it right now. See that? It's already pretty much in place. And then what you want to do with the crochet hook, you want to come again and put a hair that's sticking out into the middle each time. Like I said, it depends how OCD you are, you know what I'm saying? But if you're not that bad, then or you don't, you, if you kind of like that neck, that frizzy kind of look, then you just leave it like that. But for me, I like it looking nice and neat. So, you see that? So let me do this whole thing for you. All right, so 
So here we are towards the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is the roots, this is the bottom, right? Some people like it that straight down come like that. I don't like it like that. I like mine's like nice and round on the end. You see what I'm saying? You can leave, uh, you know, like I said, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? Everyone have their own style, what they prefer. And what I prefer is nice and round. You see this right here? It's straight down like that. And if you want it, just dread the whole thing to the bottom and just leave that part like that or let the hair stick out like that with me. This is what I do. As I'm coming towards the end, I kind of grab this bunch of hair, curve it like that, right? You see what I'm saying? You see what I just did? Just like that. And with the crochet hook, I'm coming in, like I said, see? One side, pulling into the other one side. Okay, so now I broke it down to where it's still kind of sticking out, but not really. I still want nice and bald. So this is what I do. I'm coming from this angle, see? And I'm pulling it. I'm pulling this in. I don't know if you can see it, see? With the crochet hook, I'm pulling the ends in. See, now it's just getting like that. Now I'm balling it up with my uh, palm just like that right I'm rolling it there you go now you have some drill locks see that see right now it still look kind of like rough but that's every time you first start a dread it looks like that it looks like that rough kind of you know what I'm saying and then as days go by as months years goes by it starts to tighten it up even tighter and it's locked up, you feel me? So yep, that's how I start my dreads, y'all. Just like that, you know what I'm saying? My wife, she did the whole thing for me. She part out the hair, and then she back home for me and everything, and that's the style we use. That's the method she use, you know what I'm saying? And then there's times where she's tired and stuff like that, right? Like on days that, you know what I'm saying, I need to touch up my hair, like touch up my locks and stuff. I just do it myself. But sometimes like the back, I can't really like, do my back so she'll do it for me but I always make sure I look nice and neat in the front like it looks all like you know what I'm saying it looks all touched up and stuff you feel me and yes this is my real hair it's all mine I don't use no weaves or or nothing or extension or anything this is my hair this is my real hair you know what I'm saying I did all mine and like I said it was much longer than this we just you know what I'm saying I just cut like damn near almost half or three-fourths of it you know what I'm saying because it was getting too heavy or whatnot but yeah that's my hair let me show y'all straight from the roots to the end you feel me yep all mine I don't use no extension or none you know what I'm saying not that anything wrong with it or none but I just don't you feel me I like natural hair I just use my own right oh yeah for uh, for some of you that have been asking me like hey man hey pet do you have a you know do you have an Instagram yeah I got an Instagram but I'm not really that active on Facebook, I'm really active though, so if y'all want to see your boy, you know what I'm saying, come friend me, man. This is my Facebook right here. Let me show y'all. Hold on. My pet Pomty sign right there. Y'all got it? Right there, see? That's my Facebook account, pet Pomty sign. I got me as the profile picture and at the background, my family, you feel me? So Come and friend me, man. Come at your boy. You know, get on Facebook. If y'all got a Facebook account or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, come at me, man. Pet Pumpty sign, you know what I'm saying? Check me out, you know what I'm saying? Any comments or anything below or any other videos y'all want me to do, any question, man, come on the, uh, come on the comment box, man, ask me. I'm here, I'm gonna answer some questions, baby. You want me to do any other videos, let me know. I'll do it just for you. All right, deuce.